In this video, I will show how to install Kali Linux in Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager. So let's get started. At first, open your favorite web browser and download Kali Linux ISO file from this URL kali.org. Browse this URL and then click on this download button. Click on this recommended button. Okay, from here download Kali Linux ISO file for 64 bit or 32 bit operating system. I'm going to download Kali Linux for 64 bit operating system or Linux. Now click on this download button. I already have downloaded it on my machine. And then open Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager. I already have installed it on my machine. You will find a link in video description how to install Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager. I'm going to install Kali Linux on Virtual Box 7. Okay. Now click on this new button to create a new virtual machine. I'm going to name it Kali. Linux okay and then select ISO image so click on this icon and then click on other and select Kali Linux ISO file now select and open Now click on next to continue. Here see the system requirements for Kali Linux. For Kali Linux default you need to use at least 2 GB of RAM and 20 GB of disk space. So enter the base memory I'm going to use 2 GB of RAM that is the base memory and then increase the number of CPU okay now click on next now create virtual hard disk you can increase this size okay now click on next now finish now I'm going to change some settings click on settings and then click on system okay here enable this extended feature okay now click on display here I'm going to maximize the video memory and also enable 3D acceleration this is an extended feature and also select graphics controller VMS VGA ok and then click on ok now click on start to install Kali Linux on Oracle VM virtual box manager 7 okay now I'm going to enable a scale mode that's it now select the option using this 
up and down arrow key I am going to select graphical install then hit enter it may take a while for putting up the Linux ok now select a language to be used for the installation process I am going to select English language and then click on continue now select your location now configure the keyboard so select a keyboard layout It may take a while for loading additional components from installation media. It may take a while for configuring the network. Okay, now enter the host name for this system. I am going to name it. okay this is my host name and now click on continue now enter the domain name the domain name is the part of your internet address to the right of your host name you can enter this domain name or you can leave this okay set up users and password so I am going to enter the full name for the new user you can enter any different name here that you want and then click on continue now enter username for your account Now choose a password for the new user. Re enter password to verify. Okay, now click on continue. You must enter same password in these two fields. and then click on continue it may take a while for configuring the clock ok now select your time zone and then click on continue it may take a while for partitioning disk ok for the new user should use the first option and then click on continue now select this to partition click on continue ok now select the first option all files in one partition this is the recommended for new users and then click on continue here you will see two partition now select finish partitioning and write changes to disk and then click on continue now format these two partitions so click on yes and then click on continue it may take a while for installing the base system
at the moment only the core of the system is installed the default selections below will install Kali Linux with its standard desktop environment and the default tools you can customize it by choosing a different desktop environment or a different collection of tools so you can select another desktop environment you can select this three desktop environment at the same time but i'm going to select this Kali's default desktop environment and genome desktop environment okay now click on continue it may take a while for selecting and installing software on this system a display manager is a program that provides graphical login capabilities for the x windows systems so select default display manager i'm going to select gdm3 and then click on continue now it may take a long time for selecting and installing software on this system Now it may take a while for installing grub bootloader. Now select yes and then click on continue. Now select the device for bootloader installation. Select this drive and then click on continue. It may take a while for installing and updating the grub bootloader also take a while for finishing the installation that's it installation complete now click on continue to reboot the system that's it now click on this user and then enter password to log in into Kali Linux that's it now search for display to change the resolution now click on apply now click on keep changes that's it now enjoy Kali Linux in VirtualBox manager like comment and share and subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching this video